Hey, Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Men. Let's talk about how to use hashtags for business owners or just regular people. Hashtags is another way that you fall into the algorithm. Algorithm is being seen up front on the social media platforms. That way when you know people are scrolling, they'll come across you based off a hashtag. The hashtag is gonna push you up front. And you we have to think, social media has billions of people on these pages. If you're trying to be seen, a hashtag is gonna make sure that you're seen because it's gonna push your content before anybody else is right. So you wanna use hashtags according to what it is that you need them for. And it just makes sense to be equivalent to what it is that you're trying to get people to see. If you post a picture about Nike, you wanna use all the hashtags under Nike, honey. Some people, they fell away from hashtags. Some people like me, honey, you go under the post, you're gonna see a whole paragraph about the hashtags. Because again, it brings different people in. If somebody not looking for Nike, they're not gonna see Nike. Hashtag is another business thing, just like business in general. So a hashtag is like an ad, like a regular ad, but we don't have to pay for these ads. Just using a hashtag is gonna make it pop up on somebody's news feed. So for business owners, that's free game. You don't even have to pay for no ad. If you use a hashtag, that's the ad right there. Somebody gonna type that hashtag in and you're gonna fall under that. You can use hashtags as much as you want to. Nike, 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 Nike. Every time you post a shoe, you can post the outfit of the day. I'm hashtagging everything. The hashtag has to make sense to what it's going with. That way you don't throw nobody off. You don't wanna be hashtagging Nike, but then you really wear Jordans in the picture. So, Say you post like an outfit of the day. You want to hashtag hairstyle, hashtag new set, full set, hashtag Nike, hashtag Christian Dior, just whatever it is that you have on, the hashtags are going to make up the photo. So when you go through the hashtag, you're going to be like, okay, the hashtag is going to be equivalent to the picture. When you look at the picture, you're going to be like, dang, you pretty much just listed this whole outfit. For business owners, it also puts you in the algorithm of other people that even don't even know you out here. People don't be knowing that we out here, we just be starting off. So just starting off, you wanna be seen, you wanna be known, you want people to know, hey, my small business is out here. So you wanna use hashtags that pertain to your small business. If you selling t-shirts and you ain't got nothing and you ain't selling lip gloss, then I wouldn't hashtag lip gloss if you just selling t-shirts. So again, it's just something that goes with what you're doing and it makes it puts you out there. When you use hashtags as well and you begin to fall in the algorithm, social media is set up to where, this is why people say like, comment, subscribe, and share. The more that you do that, you also push them more up into the algorithm as well. Plus the hashtags, that help you out a lot more as well. Don't be afraid to use them hashtags, honey. Still use them hashtags. People don't fell away from them. We still using them things because it gives you a different audience and then new people are able to discover you. On top of that, you wanna make your own hashtag as a business owner as well. As a content creator as well, you wanna put yourself into the market. You don't always wanna fall under what somebody else is doing either. You want to create your own because that's what a business owner, or entrepreneur is doing. We're creating our own. So you're gonna hashtag Alexis Love Beauty, Alexis Love Beauties, Flawless Man, Princess Beauty, Prince, the lip gloss professional and everything under there is just gonna be me. Nobody else is gonna fall under there unless they use that hashtag. So as a business owner, you always wanna be yay separate. You know what I'm saying? You wanna have your own business identity as well so you creating your own hashtag is going to allow you to have your own business identity as well you're going to already have the community built by the time people begin to use it just starting off people are not about to be claiming yeah i'm alexis love beauty they might comment, they might not use the hashtag. I'm still gonna push to use the hashtag. Eventually, when you get comfortable, we're more settled in our relationship, you're gonna say, I'm an Alexis Love Beauty. Hashtag Alexis Love Beauty. Hey girl, I love this video. Thank you for the inspiration. Girl, I'm about to get ready to clean up the bathroom now. Hashtag Alexis Love Beauty. Now that you use that hashtag, you're also gonna fall under the hashtag. When other people click that hashtag, they're gonna be like, oh my God, other people using it. 
So it's just going to continue to build the community over and over again. You're using it. The people that support you, they're using it. As a business owner, you always want to have your own identity. What they call it, an EFN, IFN number. We don't know about all that right now, but still, the hashtag is just like that. You want to have your own individual business identity. Yes, I'm going to use hashtag lip gloss, but I'm also going to use hashtag the lip gloss professional, which sets you aside. Whatever it is, whatever words, words quotes, phrases that you use. Hey, Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Man, put it in the hashtag. Put everything that you say in a hashtag. The more and more that you say these things over and over and over again, people is going to be comfortable with that. People will take on that identity. And it's just about what that means. You know, like there's somebody on YouTube and she said, you know, hers is winos. Well, at first I was a wino. I looked into that. A wino means somebody that's drunk, alcoholic, somebody that don't got no mental stability. So why would I want to fall under the hashtag of a wino? I do not want to be that. So eventually as a business owner, where people begin to learn and you know, they have a relationship with you. They're supporting, they're watching, they're liking, they're commenting, they're subscribing subscribing they're buying different things from you then eventually they'll feel comfortable to fall under the hashtag because they know what it is they know who you are they know what you produce so they'll be comfortable to do that so as a business owner don't feel no certain way you starting a hashtag you're like bro they ain't even using it keep on doing it because by the time they start looking it's gonna be a thousand plus that's been using this hashtag i'm hashtagging my own hashtag in the videos by the time you finally look at it it's gonna be thousands 50 plus 100 plus thousands of the hashtags it's gonna be me under there so then i'm like oh okay like this is her building her own community the same way somebody hashtag nike and then they built their platform up and up that's the same way we do it whatever your word is your phrase is your community of people hey family you know whatever it is that you say you want to hashtag that as a business owner that is going to be your ifn number i think this is what an efn number your business identification number in the form of a hashtag do not stray away from them hashtags if you're a regular consumer and you just like the hashtag because you just like attention you just like to be fresh you know be wise with that as well but you can use a hashtag hashtag outfit of the day hashtag motivational posts again people literally do just search for specific hashtags so understand that when you're doing that somebody can just find you off of that not even being an algorithm you can just be found just somebody looking hashtag food recipes you don't hashtag how to make a sandwich food recipe on yours so you're gonna come up then that's somebody like well let me click here her, her video look like it's more detailed now you have you know a new supporter because they're like oh okay i like what she said you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna subscribe so as a regular consumer more importantly as a business owner the hashtags are going to push you up front and the algorithm is going to bring more people in it's just going to get you known and seen in general again as a business owner make your own hashtag that way you are building your own community of people alexis loves you Mwah.